Tottenham Hotspur Falls is the phrase that I can think of when I heard this amazing, quite sad, but a very inspiring life story of a Japanese girl named Sadako Sasaki. This Sadako girl, she was born in Hiroshima, Japan in 1943. And at the age of two, in 1945, that is when the tragedy happened in Japan. The atom bomb was dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And I bet you know what happened next. Hiroshima and Nagasaki turned out to become this big desert. No buildings at all, no house, no school, and don't ask about nature, not even a tree. People living in Hiroshima and Nagasaki have to move out to other places. More dead peoples and more dying peoples, and these dying people include Sadako. Sadako caught a big lounge on her neck, and then the big lump getting bigger and spreading behind her ears, and the next thing she knows that the lungs spreading on her body and her faces. She was diagnosed with leukemia, or the Japanese call it the bomb atoms disease. She was admitted to the hospital and spent her dying days there. In the hospital, she met a woman who is working there, and the woman just comes to her and just you know, spending time with her, chit chat. So this woman tell her about her hobby, and her hobby is making paper cranes, or oh, we call it origami nowadays. So the the woman starts showing colorful papers and showing her showing her simple step to make origami or paper cranes. First with the the usual one, the boxes and whatsoever, and then she starts teaching step by step the com the complex origami. And then Sadako read a book. In that book, there's a legend Japanese saying that if someone can make 1,000 paper crane, that, pe that person can be granted a wish. And Sadako knew that the only wish she wished for is to stay alive, to get well again. So what did she do? Starting from that moment, days to night, night to day, she's non-stop making the paper cranes. And after a few months, she did it. She successfully did make the 1,000 paper cranes, but unfortunately, a few days after that, she died. Well, that is not a very good ending, right? If you watch a movie, you know, for example, Hunger Games, you know, at the end of the movie, and if it's not really a good ending, you will say, nah, I bet there's going to be the next Hunger Games. This is not the last. Well, that theory somehow applies in this story. This is not the ending. Maybe, the main character in this story died, didn't, didn't, didn't get well, didn't stay alive. But you know, there's something, get well again. There is something, staying alive again. And you know what it is? It's Japan. During that moment, Japan was full of despair. You know, they start blaming, why do we accept for harbor at, at first? You know, now look at Nagasaki, look at Hiroshima. They start, they start searching for whose fault is this, you know? They start counting the laws, you know, oh my god, we have to do the, 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 you have to develop again, everything, whatsoever. And then there's leukemia, the new disease, the, the, the new disease, the radiations. But the, when the words of Sadako Sasaki start spreading about her story, people start to believe again. People start to believe in hopes again. People start to believe staying whole and firmly to dreams. There's still hope there. Starting from that day, they start making monuments of Sadako Sasaki and the word, the story of Sadako Sasaki straightly, you know, spreading all over Japan and all over the world. People start believing in hopes again. The, the principal, everyone, the principal, the teachers keep talking about Sadako in classrooms. The leaders always give speeches, gonna, uh, they always gonna use examples, the Sadako Sasaki examples to give the motivation. And as you can see now, what Japan has turned out to be. Japan has become one of the most successful countries in the world. Thanks to who? Sadako Sasaki. So this is one of her sayings that stick closely to all Japanese heart. And that is, I will write peace on your wings and you will fire all over the world. And yes, the story about hopes. And now, paper cranes, origami, 
are the symbol and are the global symbol of peace and hopes. So, can you think of it from the power of folding papers to the power of giving hopes? Do you ever think Sadako think of this when she doing it? She just wish for just she believe in this legend story that if she make it she will stay alive. But what she did right now, she making the Japan to stay alive until now. Well, I would like to give you my personal experience about this origami inspiration. Maybe I can relate to somehow. When I was six years old, that is one of the I would say the darkest part of my family life. I we have a crisis uh, of crisis of financial problems, and yeah, we will we will have we we see saving as a very big thing at that moment. We save a lot of money and everything. We have to reduce some uh, expenses. And then a few months ago, I asked my dad, "Do you remember the time when we were, you know, we were poor and everything?" My dad told me that, you know, do you want to know? I remember something. What is it? When I when I was six years old, when the, that her dark time come, you know, every single day after I go back from my kindergarten. I will straight. I will show my mom and my father. This is the drawing I made in class. You know, this is a drawing. It's it's an ugly drawing, but whatever. It's a drawing. So I'm gonna straightly go to the fridge and place it with the magnets. So the next day is the same routine. I'm gonna go to the fridge and put a new drawing. But the yesterday drawing is not there. So it turned out to be my father gonna take that drawing every single morning before he goes to work. And put it in a frame, a four frame, in his office table. It gave him reason to stay strong. Give it, it gave him reason to fight more. You know, this is what I've been fighting for, for my children. So, right now, I would say my family is a happy family and a very stable family. We are happy. Well, the next story, I think maybe、uh, the Malaysian can relate to somehow. It's a classic story. If you ever recall. The title is Singapore di Landa Todak. You know, if you have ever heard about it, it's about a little boy who gave a brilliant idea to save the country. So, all the story prove that this quote is very true. That the secret of a genius is to carry the spirit of the child of, of a child into all age, which means never losing your enthusiasm. So, as you can see here, you know, when we were child, you know. We think that everything is possible. We we take risks. As, no, that interest that is interesting. But when we come when we come adults, we become a little bit more realistic. Not a little bit, I think more and more realistic until we don't see any potential in everything. You know, we do something. No, that's risk. You cannot take that risk because this, because this, because that. No. So why it is the real secret to become a genius is firmly hold to that spirit when you were little. And now you have the power to do something. You have you don't have the power when you were child. You just have you, you can dream of it. But now you can take action. You can actually make it into reality. Actually, I came across this Sadako story, and I've I've been reading this story again and again. When I was a googling、um, origami tutorials, you know I, I'm into origami. Two years ago and until now, I'm into origamis. So maybe I would like to share to you guys how to make origami. You know, learn something new today. The origami that I'm going to make right now is, and、uh, we call it a camera origami. It、uh, basically that it doesn't take photos, but you can、uh, you can tell why it is origami.、Uh, it's a camera origami at the end of the result. Okay, this is a square paper. Now, first step. Okay, pay attention to this. Okay, make this square into a triangle. Okay, simple, right? Make this square into a triangle. Okay. Make the best triangle you can make. I'm gonna be sitting here. I think I need table. I need table or something. Okay. Okay, done with that. Okay, now make this triangle into a smaller triangle. Smaller triangle. Okay. Easy start. Okay, now smaller triangle. You get this right? Okay, everyone's done. Now open it back. You will get a square paper with an X line. Okay. Now what I want you to do is, you have four points now. One, two, three, four. Okay, four edge. Now fold it to the main point. 
to the center of the point. Just like you're folding uh, an envelope, you know, making an envelope. You will get a square envelope. Square envelope. Okay, everyone's done? Okay, okay, take your time, take your time. Square envelope, square envelope. Okay. If you're done, tell me you're done. Okay, okay done? Okay. This is, this is square envelope. Okay. Now what I want you to do is flip it. Now, do the same thing. The points meet the center. Every four points meet the center. Okay. Now you're going to have a small envelope like this. Exactly like this. This is one of the easiest origami, come on, don't ever give up. Okay, done with that. And the next process would be flip it again and the point meets the center. Okay, this is the last time. This is the last time. Okay? It, it, may, it may be a little bit hard because the paper is getting thicker, but you can do it. You can do it. I can do it. Sure, you can do it. Please make it uh, neat or something. Because if you want a neat result, then make it neat. Okay, it's going to be like this. Okay, exactly like this. Small envelope or something. Everyone done? Because if you miss the next step, you're a mess. Okay, everyone's done. I want everyone to achieve this. Okay, done, okay? Now, okay. Flip it. Okay, no more for, no more meet the within the center. Okay, you're gonna have four holes. You're gonna have four holes, right? You're gonna have four holes. Okay, now choose a hole and make it a square. For example, like this. Okay, this is the hole. You press it like this. Press it like this. Get it? Get it? Get it? From this. The holes, press it like this. You get a. Everyone get it? The holes, the holes. Anyone didn't get it? Okay, I can come to you. Everyone get it? Okay, now do the same thing to the opposite. To the opposite, too. Open the hole. Let me do it, let me do it. Okay, open the hole. Okay. Open the hole. Press it. So we get this result, this result. Okay, nice. This, that's good. Okay. Now you will get this. Okay, everyone get it? Okay, now, now this is the final step and which is the hardest. Okay, everyone get this, this, this look first. Okay, good. Now what I want you to do is uh, do as what I'm doing, okay? Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, now, now put your thumbs here, press it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, here, here. This is. The, the pulling, okay, the pulling. Okay, now. Turn it like this, okay. Press it. This is your thumb. Press it. Okay, get it. Okay, now. Press the triangle. You come like this, you know? You will get this. Oh, come on, okay, get it, get it. Come on, tell me you get it. Okay, press the triangle. Do you get it? Oh come on! Oh come on! Okay, this this part. You know when you you when you pull, you become like this. Press these two center with your thumb, and then press this and this and pop. Okay, from from this. Okay, when you're pulling, okay, done. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. Okay, get it. Okay. 
Now the last one. Put it like this. And fold it like this. Next slide, next slide. Here we get this. And what you do now, you can go to the next person next to you and cheese. <laughs> okay, or you want to take new photos, you flip it like this and cheese. You can make the sound of, you know, you know, just take a photo. You know, this is one of my favorite. Yeah, I have eight siblings. I'm, I'm, I'm the second. You know, my little, my little sibling love this origami the most because they can do something about it. After the origami is done, they can do something about it. Cheese, okay? You know? Okay, that's okay. Uh, I, can, I can give mine to anyone who wanting it, okay? Alright. So, you know, well, when they are making the swan, it took like 30 minutes or one hour. And then my mom gonna take it. No, this is gonna end up to the glasses, to the, to the glasses wardrobe. No one gonna look at it, only the guests gonna look at it. You know, my sibling, oh my mom, I do it so hard. So when it comes to this, you can start playing with it. When, and then you can make a new one. So I hope you enjoy the paper making, the origami making. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy. <laughs>